The Bible records the antediluvian period in the early chapters of the book of Genesis. According to the biblical text during the pre-diluvian era, human civilization achieved great accomplishments but also perpetuated a culture of sin. The first antediluvian family was obviously the family of Adam. After being expelled from the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve settled down and had sons and daughters. As is known, the first child of the first couple was Cain. However, Cain was also the first murderer in the Andaluvian world, cowardly killing his own brother, Abel. After his terrible sin, Cain received a mark from God and built a city in the land of Nod. Cain named this Andaluvian city after his firstborn son, Enoch. This city is the first city mentioned in the Bible in Genesis chapter 4. Join us on this fascinating journey as we explore the antediluvian period diligently and discover what life was like in that remote era, the development of the antediluvian world. Contrary to non-biblical theories, Scripture clearly explains that man was created by God as a rational and morally capable being. This means that although man experiences a type of intellectual evolution as he acquires knowledge and develop new technologies, there was no evolutionary process as a species, as advocated by some scientific theories. This becomes evident when we look at the biblical accounts of the antediluvian period. As mentioned, Cain, the first human born on earth, was developed enough to build a city. His descendants, in turn, were responsible for great invention. Through Jabal, Jubal, and Tubal Cain, the antediluvian society learned to dwell in tents, raise herds of livestock, develop arts using musical instruments, and forge tools through working with copper and iron. Later in Noah's time, the Bible shows how he already had the ability and resources to build a great ark according to divine instructions. Therefore, although the Bible does not provide many details about this period, it is clear that there was strong technological and cultural development in the antediluvian world. How long did the antediluvian period last? Many people forget that although we do not know how long the pre-diluvian era lasted, certainly the time between Adam and the flood was much longer than the time from the flood to the present day. This means that the historical period narrated in the early chapters of the book of Genesis before the flood is much larger than the period of the rest of biblical history. Many attempts have been made to date this period, but all have been unsuccessful. In fact, the only record that provides any chronological data is the genealogical list in Genesis 5. However, it is impossible to establish dates based on this record simply because that is not its purpose, and neither is the purpose of any biblical genealogy. But based on the genealogical list in Genesis 5, at least scholars can observe that the great development experienced by the antediluvian world probably had to do with the longevity of the people. At that time, there was only one language, and God allowed men to live hundreds of years. This certainly played a fundamental role in the technological growth of that period and the transmission of information. Sin in the Antediluvian Period The Bible states that the sinful lifestyle adopted by Cain quickly spread throughout the Antediluvian world. For example, Lamech, a descendant of Cain, was the first to practice polygamy in the biblical pages and was also a double murderer who took pride in his cruelty. Cain himself, after killing Abel, not only did not repent but also thought that the divine punishment upon him was unjust. The Bible also says that in the antediluvian period the sons of God mixed with the daughters of men. It is true that some interpreters argue that this meant a mixture between spiritual beings and humans. In other words, fallen angels supposedly had relations with women on earth. But most scholars agree that the interpretation that best fits the biblical text is that this mixture referred to the human degeneration promoted by the relationship between righteous and unrighteous people so that wickedness quickly prevailed and characterized the entire civilization. This means that at that time, the righteous lineage of Seth was the branch of humanity that preserved the knowledge of God. But over time, this lineage mixed with the unrighteous lineage of Cain and spiritual depravity reached an intolerable limit. From this mixture, the Nephilim arose, who were the mighty men of old, men of renown, the destruction of the antediluvian world. Yet, in the antediluvian period, there were also people who were truly committed to the Lord. 
Abel, for example, was the first martyr and continued to be remembered as an example of faith even in the times of the New Testament. Enoch was another who had such a close relationship with God that he was taken up and did not see death. Lastly, it was during that period that Noah was also born, grew up, and developed as a man. But in the final years of the antediluvian period, Noah was the rare exception, a person who remained faithful to the Lord. The Bible says that his family was the only one spared when God's patience considered the widespread depravity of that civilization intolerable. And so the antediluvian period came to an end with the outpouring of God's wrath and the destruction of the earth. In the New Testament, the Apostle Peter clearly records the end of the antediluvian history, by which the world that then existed perished, being flooded with water. We have reached the end of another video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps me a lot. Thank you for watching until the end, and until next time,